Hi guys, Adam from PerdigiDoodle.com for another episode of PerdigiDoodle on the road. Today we're going camping. Let's get started. So at the moment we're just waiting for the train to go to Katoomba. We're going to walk from Katoomba into the Megalong Valley, part of the six foot track camp for one night. It's just me and Susan right now. And we're going to be meeting up with two other Indonesians, Nicole and Uchi, and yeah, we're pretty excited about it. You excited too? That looks very, uh, very excited. We've got a fair bit of gear as well at the moment. We've got this big beast of a backpack. It's 55 litres, but it's full and really heavy. Then we've got this one here, which I will get in focus. It's a really lightweight backpack. It can fit a lot more in it, um, but it's actually quite light at the moment. So that's the one Susan's carrying. Hello, lagi beres beres, lagi makan, makan pagi. Hey, we're ready to walk. Say hello. Is that for your fans? <laughs> yeah, we have lots of fans, don't we? Yes. So many fans. We will get about maybe three views on this on YouTube. <laughs> Six foot track. Seems to be a lot of people here. Look at that. All these cars. And I see some excited people. <laughs> I'm gonna send this video to your ex. <laughs> wow, it's getting so steep now. I'm here. Oh, selfie time. So Susan's struggling down here because it's so steep and it's a little bit wet. So we're having to go a little bit slower and it's, it's hot as well. So. You know, we're struggling with the, the slippery, the steep, and now the heat, and we might need to stop soon to, to have a bit of a drink. What do you reckon, Susan? That, I think that means yes, yes. The others have actually gone down that way, which is down there. Look at that, it's crazy. Up in the tree here, we have a goanna. Now, I wish I had a zoom lens on and not this wide thing, because that is a big, big beast right up in there. See it? Wow, that's pretty cool. Aracuda. Oh, we're in English on this one, aren't we? So we have a horse. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Going across the bridge. It's pretty cool. We're really hot at the moment, like it's so, so hot out here and the sun's beating down on us. And we've still got about eight kilometers to go and everyone's thirsty, but you just gotta keep pushing on. And uh, hopefully we can fill up with a bit more water at the next stop and we'll have to filter it probably. And here comes Uchi. Night Gunung, sort of. The final survivor. <laughs> Oh my God, the situation is so bad. We're out of water and we need, we need to drink, we're dehydrated. But there's a big bridge coming up. You might be able to see it through the bushes there. And that bridge crosses a river where we should be able to get some water. Thank God. And we are now trying to fill this bottle with uh, our filter. But it's really slow. Look at that, how slow that is. It's gonna take forever. Oops. And Susan's coming across the bridge. Palan palan because she's takut. 
Now Nicole is going across very, very slowly as well because it's very, very wobbly and a very, it feels fragile. Uchi is going across and she's scared as well because it's very shaky, but she's laughing. This is the start of the bridge, look at this. It's really crazy how narrow and rickety it is. So, here we go. It is pretty scary and you, you do have to hang on. It's crazy, oh my God. It's really wobbly. Really wobbly. You can hardly balance, it's so wobbly. And then, this is a view to the other end and Uchi is still going across. So I'm gonna go as soon as she's finished because it's one person at a time. Uchi is off and here we go. Slowly, slowly because it's a little bit wobbly. But it's not too bad. Oh yeah, it can be pretty bad. You should be careful. I sort of felt like it was gonna twist. A little bit slower now. That is scary. Oh my God, it's wobbling like you wouldn't believe. But the views are cool. Wow, getting across a bridge is harder than it looks. And uh, we're back on the trail again. It's like almost seven o'clock and we haven't quite arrived at our campground yet. So we're, we're heading for it now and hopefully we get there you know, within the next, I don't know, 15 minutes, hopefully, but we don't know. Let's have a look. We have Nicole, hey. Uchi. What's up? <laughs> we're arriving in the campground. It's only a hundred meters ahead and we're so excited by that. And we've stumbled upon a kangaroo. morning we're here on day two of our walk on the six foot track and we're just better as better at the moment oh that's just gone weird and uh here is everyone morning. <laughs> morning. Morning. i'm excited and let's walk Looks like a really nice morning, look at that. That's really cool. Nice, nice sky. And the uh, campsite's back there. As you can see, the girls are currently attempting the river crossing. It's really quite difficult to pick your way across those rocks. And we continue on our walk up, up, up. So yesterday it was down, 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 and this morning it's up, up, up. And we're using completely different muscles. And that's pretty cool because when we hit a little bit of a down stretch, we really feel those muscles that we used from yesterday. But now it's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. And uh, hopefully we don't get rained on this afternoon uh, because we're setting off quite early. But we shall see. Hiking and camping is just one of those things that not everyone's into. And to be honest, it's not our favorite thing either, but we just like the outdoors. So we keep trying to succeed at camping. And tonight, well, last night, I think we succeeded. And this walk is a success, even though it's really difficult. Like we're really enjoying ourselves. We've come across two rowdy campers who have decided to set up shop here. Luros Kaki. Okay. Uh, so we're making pretty good time now. Like we're almost back up to what the halfway point, I think. Is it halfway point, Uchi? No? Almost back at the halfway point. Yeah. And uh, it's not as hot. So it's like we're making good progress and we've got a little bit more energy than yesterday. I reckon we might even be finished before it's dark. <laughs> and we're finally coming back to the escarpment, which is what they call the cliff there. We have to get to the cliff in the background, which is where Katoomba is. 
And we continue on our journey. We're coming towards our another stopping point. And uh, we're, our shoulders are really sore at the moment, so hopefully we can rest a while, because not long after this, we have to get up the top of the cliffs, which are up there. We have to get to the top of those, right at the top. Lunge it. Can you see that thing there behind the bushes? That there is a little wallaby. And then there's a baby one just there. Look at it. How cute. It's like a never ending climb to the summit. And uh, we are so tired. Oh my God. Hopefully only less than an hour to go. Hopefully. We're coming to the end of our hike. We're at the top. And I've got to say, physically one of the most challenging things I've done. Uh, and Susan's gone as well. The other two girls are back there. They're gone as well. But we're happy because we're going to get something to eat and have a rest. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam from Brigadoodle.com. We'll catch you next time. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, and got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I